Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Minecraft Earth Boost Mini Single Packs and the Potion Carry Along Case, which also came with a minifigure, uh, which I used for the Minecraft Earth app. So, yes, uh, I might do some reviews in the future for the other packs. So, I'll start off with the single packs and then end with the carry along case. This is Crafting Steve. Here you can see Steve here with his crafting bench apparently and a saw. And uh, look, that looks like to be a wooden plank. And then a nice green platform. And you just scan it in. Um, it's NFC scanning. You'll understand when you get the game. I, I mean, if you have the game. I'm not going to be showing gameplay in um, this video because my phone is what I'm using for recording and it's the only thing I can get Minecraft Earth on. So, yeah. Here, yeah, 360 degree angle. Crafting Steve, he gives you a crafting boost in the game. Uh, which basically just means that, because crafting takes time in Minecraft Earth, so it will just speed it up for you. Next, I'll go on to Attacking Alex. A nice minifigure. Alex with the diamond sword slashing down on something. Not sure what this like effect is supposed to be. Maybe some mob got defeated, or maybe she's slashing at water. Maybe does it drown, but I'm not really sure. And she's crouching down and she has a serious, angry face defeating mobs. Three sixty degree view. She gives you an attacking boost so you do more damage in the game. Next I'll go on to a seeking dolphin. Quite a nice minifigure in my opinion, and quite useful in the game to me. Quite a nice minifigure. The uh, dolphin with a, I think that's a cod, jumping out of the water. And the effect of the water looks quite nice as well. And a nice blue sea. So that's supposed to be water in the sea, a plate. And then you, of course, scan it in the bottom, as I previously said. This one, um, there's this map, basically. Uh, where you travel and you have to tap things and that basic and you have a circle it's called a radius and uh, if anything comes within that circle like an animal and you tap it then you get the contents of that and there's common things rare things uncommon epic um, things like that basically for example if you tap a sheep you might get a sheep like a normal sheep, which is common, or you might get a rainbow sheep, which is epic, which I think is the highest level. Epic is the highest level. So this, basically what it does is just um, extends your radius. One of the two um, boost minis that extends your radius. Next we have <clears throat> the slowed creeper. There seems to be mud or something, although mud is not in Minecraft. But it is in Minecraft Earth, but it seems to be some sort of like sticky, watery mud. And what this does in the game, it just gives you more XP um, from defeating mobs, from mobs and such, yes. That's it, really. One of the two um, boost minis. Then we have Enraged Golem. Quite a nice boost mini. Just basically an iron golem on a nice brown plate, swinging its arm up, arms up with its eyes red in anger. Like, I mean, in normal Minecraft, they are mostly red with, I think, black or silver as well. So, what this does in the game basically, it just, um, I believe it just improves your like defense if you're being attacked by mobs or something. Uh, I don't think it does anything else though. 
Next we have Smelting Blaze. Quite a nice one. You can see the furnace there, the fire and the blaze. A nice um, crimson or maroon base plate. And you can see there's an iron ingot inside the furnace and it's smelting. And what this does is it uh, it does the same thing as crafting essentially but for smelting. Smelting things again takes time so this just speeds the process up. Next we're going to go on to Future Chicken Jockey which you can get another one of in a two pack. Here it is, it's just basically a zombie egg with a chicken on it and a nice grey base plate M NF and then it's NFC scanning as I said before. Nice detailed zombie egg there. Now what this does is, uh, I said of course this was one of the two, this does the same thing as the creeper, gives you more XP, XP for mobs. Next we're going to go on to this one, which is Healing Mushroom, I believe. I can't remember the first bit of the name. Yeah, it's on a nice mycelium plate, and it's it has something in its mouth. I'm not exactly sure what. I don't think it's a cookie, though. I think it's stew. Suspicious stew. Yeah, so nice mushroom. It's walking as well. And what this, do this does is the game, in it just uh, gives you more health. And improves your health, basically. In uh, these things called adventures where you can lose health like in normal Minecraft. Instead of hearts, it's a bar, basically. So yeah, that's the uh, single packs all done, eight of them, to get uh, for the single packs. But there are more chances to get um, boost minis that do the same things. Well, some of them, for example, this one, there's a Seeking Wolf, but you get that in a Walmart exclusive one. And yeah, now we're going to go on to the carry along case with its character. So first I'll do this. I think this is a healing witch. I think it's healing also. Yeah, um, I can't remember the names exactly, but it has a nice cauldron with a glistering metal in, in and a nice red potion. I think that's a potion of uh, either healing or regeneration, like uh, the case. And we can see it's red in the cauldron, like the potion. Nice, I think quite a nice figure to get, boost mini. Now what this does again, the same as the um, healing mushroom, it just heals you. So that's really it for that. And then a nice um, purple plate, which I don't think any other character like boost mini has. Because some of the um, plates are like different colours. So Now onto the case. I'm not sure if it's all on camera. So this is a nice case, a potion of healing or regeneration. I think it's a healing potion. Red, the nice white pixels and this lid. So how it opens, and it can store five boost minis, but if you cram them in, you can get in a couple more. And if you want to, if you're not like someone collecting the boost minis, um, you can use them to store the normal Minecraft minifigures, like, um, the, they're basically like these, but without plates. Um, I have quite a few of them, which I did do a review on the biome, one, biome ones. So how this opens, basically, is this lid here, you see. You just twist that around, make sure it clicks, and then you can just pull this, and here's the space. And if you're wondering what, um... And just close it back up like that. 
And what this does, I think it's just to, you know, say, maybe, like, connect it to your shirt, like, hang it on, or say you have a belt or something. And I'll demonstrate um, putting characters into here. Again, just open it like that. We're going to put the witch in the top. Uh, let's put the mushroom in here. Let's put the blaze in uh, here. And let's just put a couple of other characters. And you can see that it... That it fits um, five quite comfortably. But you can cram in a couple of other characters like that. Or that. Or if you want to do it more neatly, you can just put it in between those. So you can get six in. I mean, I guess you could cram something in there. No, not really. And then just close it back up, make sure it clicks. Click it, and then you can see your characters from here. And, yeah. There is a green variant of this case, which comes with an Enderman, which I think improves attackability. Um, it's a nice green. It's an Enderman holding um, a green, I think, potion of poison. And um, it's got, like, green splodge potion all over it. Yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, probably see you in a while um, with another video so that's it from me bye guys